Seeing all the wonderful things music teachers currently do when dealing with technology, I believe the corona crisis is a moment of growth that will change music education in post-corona times. Not only will music teachers have gained a lot of practical experience, I also believe that this process enables a change in mindset that empowers music teachers to take the next step and move from the current emergency remote teaching into genuine online learning and teaching. This means going beyond digitally imitating the classroom and transforming learning and teaching by increasingly integrating digital tools that provoke new ways of learning and teaching. My main concern is considering the students. First, knowing whether students are doing well and talking to them about the new arrangements for their studies. Second, and perhaps more importantly, asking students how they continue to make music their music, their own project. What strategy did they find to create, arrange, interpret, collaborate, disseminate, repeat, and so on? How did they transform their way of playing music because of or through IT? And it's also urgent we become aware of the tools we use and their non-neutrality. We use a lot of tools today, often free, without thinking too much about our data. But remember that our social and professional interactions have a real market value for the giants of the web. And we can empower ourselves by choosing tools that are more respectful of our fundamental rights. So far, the spectrum of technical possibilities in learning has only been partially used. Perhaps the teacher has not been convinced of the potential of the technique or the possibilities and methods offered by technology have been unknown to the teacher. But today, the most prominent change is the large-scale introduction of digital tools. I take one example of, the, of a new sector to which I have been reluctant to explore before, gaming. Because gaming is not associated with my everyday life, I have seen just only the worrying features. Thinking once again, there may be something beneficial in gaming. For example, gaming develops language skills, gaming improves cognitive abilities, emotional skills develop as you play, games increases well-being, gaming develops social skills. It's a pity that I have ignored such an instrument. What other digital tools might I still find? A lot is now being conveyed in digital form. And even if there are some problems due to the lack of technical and digital equipment, it is astonishing that the digital teaching works quite well and in some areas even brings advantages and new ideas arise. The university management now has the chance to use this positive energy for the time after Corona. Allow ideas, make it possible to try them out. Support the professional exchange among teachers and students on digital teaching and digital art performing. Now's the time to invest in these things, in the infrastructure and in tools that enable teachers and students to continue to add value even after the Corona crisis. Understand digitization as a, as a natural part of teaching and art practice. Then the universities will not only better master upcoming crises, but will also reach a whole new level in music education. In the recent weeks, many lists of interesting resources for work, teaching and learning have emerged on social media. As teachers, we must recall that the best tool for a specific task is that one we feel more comfortable with. In the current emergency situation, what the students really appreciate is comprehension and organization. For example, a clear schedule for synchronized sessions, a clear guide on which documents or videos are related to each session, a specific forum for different topics, a clear grading system, an efficient communication with the students, and many others. Remote teaching is new for most of us, and students need to feel it is developed in a warm, clean and a safe space. I work in music teacher education in the UK. Trainee teachers are currently unable to carry out practice placements in schools, and even when schools begin to function, as they have in other countries, social distancing will mean much rethinking of pedagogy. 
What does music in the classroom look like when singing and the playing of wind instruments aren't permitted? How do young people and schools make music together when social distancing is essential? More than ever, we need to come together to explore approaches, digital and non-digital, encouraging both trainee and experienced classroom teachers, as well as researchers and computer design experts, to share ideas so that we can keep music alive in our schools. Digital tools for communication, as well as for musical activities, will be essential to these collaborations. Digitisation has opened up endless possibilities for connectivity, yet isolation is also a reality. Studying music can be an incredibly social experience, and therefore it's important that during lockdown we still keep connected, particularly for the benefit of those that live alone and for our international students who are away from their home countries. To tackle this issue, we can use digital tools. Staff and students are organising and hosting virtual coffee breaks, virtual quizzes, virtual performances and even virtual jam sessions. This way they are strengthening the bond in their learning and teaching communities, essentially strengthening society within institutions. Until recently, when we spoke about digital tools in music education in the context of music schools, the expectations were quite diverse. Now, there were some people who wanted to speak about what kind of tools they are, how they work, what they can be used for, and so on. And I really think that we have turned a page in this discussion. Um, the EMU has conducted a little survey among its members to find out how they are coping with the new situation. And um, all European music schools, at least in our network, have indeed changed to um, distance learning and to using digital tools. Um, we have scratched the surface a little bit and we found out that all of them use um, digital tools for one-on-one -on -one tuition, for theoretical lessons, for instrumental lessons. Now with regards to band practice or group lessons, the situation is different of course. This is not very surprising, but it shows that everybody has an opinion now. And um, I think there is a huge amount of experience gained from one day to the next all across Europe that we can dig into. And this is why I believe we have turned a page in the discussion on digitization. And um, in a way, there is a good side to the current situation. And it is that we have made a little bit of progress here.